Your customer calls and wants a refund for no holiday cleaning. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Have you ever had that phone call where that client's called you and says, hey, you know, you guys didn't show up on, on such and such a day uh, to clean our office. And it happened to be a holiday. It doesn't matter if it was Thanksgiving, Easter, or, or uh, uh, Christmas or New Year's. So, you know, that can be a real problem. So what I would suggest is what you do is that when you're talking to these people when they're a prospect, you would explain to them how your billing works and that, uh, you know, your, your billing is calculated to where you are paid for the holidays even though you don't come in to clean them. And the reason is is that maybe you're spending a little extra time the day before and the day after doing some cleaning. Um, and besides, you know, really it wouldn't warrant it because they typically the day before, the it's a light day for the office anyway. And nobody generally comes in on a holiday and the day after is usually a light day. So in either case, you know, just make sure that you have that outlined in your proposal and, you, and, and on your agreement sheet. So, you know, for example, if you don't, if you don't do that, then you're going to have to start refunding your clients, you know, for the days that you don't clean. And here's what I mean by that. So let's take uh, the month of December. And let's say you have a client that uh, you're servicing five days per week. You're getting paid $1,800 a month for the service. Well, once you calculate that, there's 22 days of the month that you actually perform services. And so if we're charging them $1,800 a month, we would take $1,800 divided by 22, that equals $81.82 per day. So knowing that, that's our day rate, uh, now if they're saying that they want a refund for, let's say, Christmas, uh, Christmas Day, that we didn't come in and clean, well, then we would just uh, deduct $81.82 uh, for that day on our invoice for the month of December. So now you're going to have to you're going to have to make sure that you uh, do this in advance uh, before invoices are sent out and so on and so forth. But not really a big deal. But that's the easy calculation to do that if they're asking for a refund or a credit. Um, like I say, you know it's very very important that that you always have this conversation with your clients. Generally, when I've seen this happen is typically when you get a new property manager. You know, well, there's a new sheriff in town, and I'm going to show you guys what I can do. You know, so then they're they're nitpicking about all these different things and they're trying to see how they can cut costs and, and so on and so forth. You know, so that's what they're doing. They're just trying to show off to their new boss, you know, look what I can do. And uh, so in a way to avoid that is to make sure that you have these types of agreements in place with, uh, with the previous uh, property manager. Uh, so you can just say, this is, our, this is our agreement, it's in our contract, yada, 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 you know. Uh, that will avoid that because in some cases, well, that property manager might say, well, we want our credit for all the ones that you didn't pay us. So maybe they'll go back the whole entire rest of the year and they'll go to every uh, every holiday on the calendar and say, okay, well, you, well, you owe us X amount of dollars. You know, so, so you can see how that could probably add up to be a little bit, uh, a little bit of money. But so anyway, just try to keep yourself out of that situation and make sure that you have it outlined in your agreement and in your contract. And uh, also, if, if that's not how you do business, well then just make sure that you got things calculated so that you can go ahead and, and uh, adjust your invoice. So on those days that you don't actually go in and clean, uh, they are not getting billed for it. So anyway, uh, just a real quick tip on this. Uh, that's about all I got. If you liked what, the, what I had here, just go ahead and click on the like and share button. And as usual, if you uh, haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, click on the... Uh, uh, subscribe button. Uh, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, videos on how to uh, how to develop a, a professional clean and successful uh, cleaning business. So until then, we'll see ya.